Like I'm sure you have a lot of dealers that come in and go, hey, I want to sell for you guys. What, uh, honestly, how, like how often do you turn them away? On a daily basis. I mean, we yeah. I turned away two this week just because they didn't seem like they fit. Kind of good right? fit. Even over a conversation. I mean, you know, we we have that number that we keep. And yeah, we try new guys. And me and Ralph just went through it two weeks ago. And we cut a guy loose that wasn't didn't do a horrible job but he just wasn't servicing the customers the correct yeah. way and it just doesn't work so if you are a dealer and you're listening to this and yeah. you want to have harman do your installs you got to be ethical yeah yeah i mean there was one dealer that was coming in that wanted to do things a certain way with the hispanic market yep and we were like well you can't do that that's actually illegal yeah it has to be done this way the way you pitch it and stuff and we were like, we won't be participating in that at all if you're going to do it that way. And you cut him last week. Yep. And, yeah. and the, the amazing part is these dealers, these sales teams, sales partners, dealers, 1099 contracts, you don't realize the power they have. And they're held captive by so many other companies yeah. because of the fact <clears throat> that they're afraid to leave and go to a company like Harmon that's going to do things correctly. Again, like Ralph said, we might not be the fastest, but it will get done the first time and it will get done right the first time. I mean... How many houses do we see that have solar on the roof that is just sitting there and it's still not connected or <laughs> still not working, you know? That, that's a great point. There's a lot of companies, and there's one in particular that I can think of we'll talk about in a second that can put a paperweight on your roof. Yeah.